Hey, here we go with another devlog. What's this, number three? I'm losing count already, oh boy. Okay, um, today and parts of this, earlier this week, I worked on the Town Builder, which is up here, and I added in some stuff of like, uh, oh, you need to build towns to unlock this stuff, and uh, jump right into it. Here's the Town Builder with some buildings placed, oh boy. Aren't these awesome placeholder uh, graphics? Yes. So when you have a building placed, um, this is the, what is this? This is a warehouse. Um, when the building's placed, it unlocks the icon on the front. So back here, the warehouse is behold all your stuff. This is where the warehouse. So if the warehouse isn't down, then you need to build a warehouse to unlock. And the buildings, you get them through playing through the story. And if you're a little bit progressed, then like this, then you'll have more of a, a town to place down. So starting off, you have absolutely nothing except a trash pile. Awesome. So a new game, you're starting off just with this. Uh, I'm not going to run through the new game yet because still working on the story a bit, uh, getting the flow a bit better. But yeah, you start off with a pile of trash, nothing unlocked. You go through the story, story stuff happens, and you have access to the town editor. So this is a gr generic 2D grid. You place a thing, and... It unlocks some upgrades, or psh, some <laughs> upgrades. It unlocks some uh, buttons that you can do with it. So you can move. You can uh, you can collect, which puts it back into your inventory. Um, you know what? Let me actually place this. So back in your inventory. Here's the trash can. Uh, buildings are stored in your inventory. Well, <laughs> the plans to build are stored in in your inventory. And then, uh, why is this oh, selected? Anyway, so castle, <clears throat> the castle replaces the trash pile. And you can upgrade it. I'm going to use one copper ore to upgrade. Actually, you know what? Let's go back to here. So, the trash pile, here we go. Um, these banners are locked behind uh, upgrading the building. So, this requires castle level one. So we are going to upgrade our castle to level one. It's going to cost one copper ore. Boom! It is upgraded. Pretend you see some magic particle effects and a success. But this is now level one. You know what? I should put some text labels down here. Yeah, it should say like the name of the building and then the level. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm going to add that. Um, cool. And then uh, the next level upgrade, it requires uh, a bit more, and it requires the next tier of ore. Since I'm at rank 2, I have bronze ore, then I have some iron, and then, oh no, I don't have any silver. So this is as far as I can upgrade it, because I'm only, uh, like rank 3 or something like that. Yeah, I'm, I'm rank 3, I thought I was rank 2. Anyway. Yes. So rank 3, I'm able to unlock the event banner and the standard banner. The standard banner unlocks at level 1 because this is the main method of um, getting your characters and filling out your team, especially at the beginning of the game. Well, and I guess throughout the entire game, I guess. So I'm just going to burn all my crystals. And you know what? Let's throw one on the Tabitha banner. Well, I get Tabitha... I got I got some deal glasses. Oh boy, I'm out. Okay, and then this one I can't select it because I need castle level five. Oh boy, so you go through the game. Um, the trash pile gets replaced with the castle. I kind of hacked it back in here just to show for demonstration purposes. Um, the bug I have here is this shouldn't. Upgrade, so I don't know why it's showing. Oh well, doesn't matter. 
This is, that's why this is called a devlog, because I'm still fixing stuff. I'm right, putting that back down. So, whoops. Yeah, yeah, so I should actually show that. So, as you can see, when you have a building and you want to build it, uh, the, there's green squares which show, okay, it's good to place there, but then it shows red squares. Oh, you can't place it. You click. Well, obviously it didn't work. Um, of course, successful. Boom, there's a little, little quest board. And then uh, let's get our school back down. Boom, look at that. Awesome. So this is, I guess you could call it like a rank three village or whatever. Um, what I plan to do, like, uh, uh, these placeholder graphics will be replaced with an actual graphic of the building itself. And as you upgrade it, the graphic is going to change. So the castle starts off as like a little shack and then you upgrade it into like a hovel or whatever, and then maybe a cabin, uh, and then what like a, a little fort or something after that so this would be the image of a fort at this level and uh, of course a school and training yard and marketplace and warehouse so yeah um oh the barracks you know what i forgot to do that one okay that's fine we're good uh that is the town builder isn't that cool i think it's cool um that only took about a week of work to do, and uh, this is all the foundation of it. <clears throat> At, um, when designing the grid and stuff, it actually gave me some ideas for the different quest types, so I may, I'm definitely going to reuse some of this code. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm going to get this compiled and put up on the site for download, so it uh, should be done tomorrow. If you want to grab it tomorrow, that would be awesome. Um, yeah. That's good enough. Uh, how do I end these videos? I usually end these using a fight. Um, I can't remember if I went over this. I, I went over this. I'm sure I did. <clears throat> it doesn't matter. You're going to watch my team lose. Yep, so this is the outro. Long to lose. That's it for Devlog 3. Thanks for watching. Make sure you um, join the Discord. Had a few people join and a couple people uh, start playing the game. Um, got them, got their scores on the leaderboard. And uh, <laughs> man, she's hanging in there. What, what? Is this a bug? This is a bug. Awesome. We can't have a dev video without showing a bug. Nice. She is immortal. She is being revived <laughs> over and over. Man. Uh, yay, game development, especially alpha. Awesome. Man, this, well, this quest isn't actually going to end because uh, the condition specifies that everyone needs to be knocked out in order for the quest to end. I haven't even designed this game mode, though, so I'm not stressing out too much about it, but the skills, they they, uh, they work across all game modes, so this immortal character is kind of game-breaking right now. Look at her go. She's slowly disappearing off the screen. No. Alright. <laughs> That's a good way to end the video, right? Cool. See you on the Discord. You can download the game. Um, and uh, I will try and post one of these next week. Thank you.